let's check out the Max for Live MIDI effect envelope and one of the tools that makes Ableton so modular and so capable. So you can find it under packs. This is a built-in device, so it's under the core library. If you have Ableton Suite, you have it. Under core library, devices, MIDI effects, and that's under max MIDI effect. Right here, we can find the envelope. Let's load it. You can also alternatively uh, search for it under the max for life category. Just search envelope and you'll find the same one here as well. Okay, very similar to the old one from the max for life essentials just with the new design and a few new features. Uh, so this is just an envelope uh, that you can apply to anything, uh, including Ableton de devices to expand the capability of sound design or effects or even plugins. So let's check a few examples and see, do an overview of what's going on. So right now I have a default patch of Wavetable, just loaded it up from the instruments, just a straight up sound sine wave. Let me also load the BitLab keyboard so we can see what I'm doing. And it's just another Max for Live device just to visualize them. Can even open up the B keyboard and fold that one. Let's float it. Just so we can see what I'm playing. Let me bring it down here. <clears throat> okay, nice. So um, what we have here, we can see the envelope is being triggered with every new note. Um, and what we can do is basically we can click map and map it to anything we want. Let's say the frequency here. I'm just going to click on the frequency. And now we have an envelope on that frequency. Let's cancel that. Now we can apply it, of course, to anything. So for example, let's uh, map it. Let me fold the wavetable. Go to audio effects. Let's move the keyboard and let's load the reverb. Let's do something with the reverb here. So let's map the envelope to the dry wet, and let's see what's going on. Okay, let's uh, actually open up the filter here. Good. Nice, so we can see it's opening up the dry wet according to the envelope. We can, of course, bring a higher attack. Just so it's open up, so we can bring up the sustain, so it o keeps open as long as we sustain the note. Of course, the decay and release. Let's bring a Nice, here we have the um, slopes of all the sections, all the stages. So attack slope, decay, and release. Uh, if you have it uh, higher than uh, just the slope of it, here we go. Nice, uh, you can ignore the sustain stage, so it basically goes attack, decay, release. Nice, let's bring up the sustain. And here it also have velocity sensitivity. So if I turn it off, it will always go to 100. And if I turn it on, it does depend how strong I hit the note. So let's hit it soft. 61, let's hit it uh, stronger. 100. Nice, let's bring the attack slightly lower. Nice, now uh, uh, right here is the amount. It's another kind of control to the range of the of the control, right? If I turn it down, it's not going to do anything. Let's bring it up. And here we can even change the time of the envelope, duplicating it by this uh, number, just to have it slower or faster. Uh, here we can synchronize the envelope to be synced to our BPM, loop it. So again, we need to skip the sustain stage. And the release. And now it's looping. Uh, kind of like an LFO. Uh, and e even echo. That again, it's a sort of a loop even after you release uh, the note. Uh, it's going to continue in uh, envelope and uh, looping. Uh, nice. Now right here, we can click on this button and actually map it to more um, destinations. So let's get the second map. And let's click the freeze here. Let's go back. And let's bring up the sustain. Nice. So let's take out the velocity. So now we have... It's opening up and freezing the sound. 
Let's bring down the amount here. Here we have the minimum and maximum. So we can actually start from around 50. Or decrease it to the maximum. And we can map up to eight destinations, uh, which makes it very creative. Let's see even uh, an example to extend other devices uh, like the wavetable. So let's load wavetable. Still the basic sound. Let's open it up here. Close the browser. And what we want to do here is uh, let's make a brighter sound like a square. Let's take envelope 2 and apply to the filter. Let's close this. Let's make it uh, kind of plucky. And let's loop it. Uh, let's take the attack peak a tiny bit lower. Nice. And let's say envelope 3, we're also doing something with it, like a classic pulse width. Let's do some pulse width with envelope 3. Let's do something like this. Nice. And now let's say I want something like an extra envelope to, for example, slow down the release of envelope 2 to make the loop shorter. So now we have uh, uh, under packs again. Oh, let's go max for live envelope. Here we go, our MIDI envelope. We can map it to anything. Let's map this to the release of the envelope 2 that does the looping, the filter looping. Bring the sustain higher. And let's bring the attack. Oh, let's bring it a bit slower. Nice, and now we can see it slowing down. So it's given and expand the capabilities of any device by adding more envelopes. <coughs> and you can, of course, do it also to plugins. So let's add a new MIDI track. Let's go plugins, add whatever synth, doesn't even matter. Let's load like a free one, like Tal, Noisemaker. And this one is someone limited, is a free one, but now you have endless envelopes and it's even going to make it even more visual, something it might not have featured in this plugin or other plugins. So let's load envelope. What we need to do is we need to open up the configure section here. Let's uh, move this. Open up the configure section, click on configure, and then touch whatever we want in the plugin to be mapped to uh, Ableton right here. So I'm touching whatever. You can even delete them later or move them around. And let's close configure. And now we can, of course, control uh, the synth from right here. It's much easier to automate in Ableton and uh, MIDI map, keyboard map. Uh, but we can also map it to the envelope. So let's click map, oscillator tune. And now we can even see the knob moving, uh, which is probably not, in this case, it wasn't a feature of the synth, which is very cool addition. Uh, and of course, edit whatever you want in the envelope. Uh, so that is the uh, max media effect envelope from the core library super useful um, let me know what you're doing with it would love to see some uh, experimentations and what you guys are uh, up to with all of this stuff uh, so that's it envelope max for live